Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I thought I would film a what's in my pencil case. Um, <laughs> my friend Hannah at Hannah Taven and Ariel at Arabea and I recently watched one from Daisy at My Green Cow and I think hers is a little old but it's fabulous. Um, I look at what's in her pencil case, their pencil cases and I thought what I would do is move into this new There She Is pencil case out of my Thrive Pink Lavender pencil case. I don't know if it's all going to fit, um, but what I'd like to do is move this into my handbag with kind of my makeup essentials and things like that in it. So, I thought what I would do is show you what's in here. I actually don't know what's in here. It's kind of my... Um, it seems funny, but I use my pencil case on my desk, and actually this is not my desk, this is my kitchen table, but this is where I film and do my plan with me's, and I just find it easier to have everything in here. Um, if you can see here, I've got all of my little pots of pens here, because I've just filmed a pen collection video as well, um, which I'll, sh you, I'll show you the link to if that's gone up first, I think it has. Um, so, let's just see what's in here. Uh, I have my um, ruler, which I just got from Officeworks. It's um, one that you can bend in half, fold in half, and it's just a 30 centimeter ruler. No inches on this one, and it has a cute little uh, Paris fashion kind of illustration on there. So, I find that quite handy. Uh, the only issue I have with it is it's a bit hard to tear washi against, and so... I recently bought this um, Kiki K metal one to do that with. Um, so that kind of stays with me as well, but I think I'll keep this in my pencil case for when I travel. I also have some old scissors in here. Um, I use these to cut, they're actually very good to cut um, plastic with. My new white Kiki K ones don't cut plastic so well. Excellent for paper and I want to keep them from paper so that I don't ruin them. So, let's put them in one of these. So, my scissors are in here. I have some whiteout, just again from Officeworks. I have a Stadler eraser, and it's kind of just protected inside this little plastic thing. I have just a normal old pencil and sharpener. So, mine are my dryer there, making a little racket in the background. I'll just get these. There's a few things in here that are the same, so... Oh, that's right. So I have these Ecoline uh, brush pens. So these are in here since Christmas. I took them home to my um, family vacation in North Queensland to visit my family and I thought I'll do some brush lettering practice up there. And I did not. So I have pink, uh, turquoise, a sort of warm grey and then the kind of mustardy yellow. Um, they're fabulous. They, I love how they write. They kind of, um, I should show you, shouldn't I? Where's my little notepad that I just had a second ago because I was um, swatching. There we go. It's a very talkative dryer. So these, as you stroke down, they kind of fade out at the end of the stroke. So, um, they have a nice, ignore my hideous lettering, but you can see they get very, they get lighter as you get to the end of the stroke, but at the beginning of the next stroke, it's, it's dark again. They're so cool. Um, and I did a lot of work with them a little while ago, and I was I did a pretty good job of a couple of um, little sessions, but I then stopped. <laughs> so I don't think I'll put them back in my pencil case because um, I don't really need them. I do have a carry this 673 Tombow, which looks like this. It's that lilac pink, which is the exact same color as the handbag I just wore. And this is my color, my favorite color. It matches the Thrive Pink Lavender range. It's just what I use to highlight things in in my planner. Um, I used to, I've kind of stopped doing that, but I would like to keep doing it again. 
I have a planner glue pen which I got from Washi Gang here in Australia. I love that pen. I have oh the lids fall off. I have here well, I don't even know if this I think this is a Muji pen. This is a Muji pen for sure, a 0.25 Muji gel pen. Um, I also have one of these Kura Takei, uh, I'm not even going to pronounce that, it's a Zig gold uh, brush pen, again for brush lettering practice, so I'll have to put that somewhere else. Another one, a Fudanesco, a Fudanesuki, sorry, Tombow Fudanesuki um, brush pen, and I think that's it for brush pens. I have a Sharpie, ultra fine point, so I use that to write on stickers. I have three Pigma Microns and two of them are, point, are O1s and one is an O2, so that's silly. I have so many of the same. And then I have a Pit Artist Pen in medium. I have a grey mild liner. And I have a 16 gigabyte USB stick, just one of those really flat ones. That's it. I have a lot of pencil marks in there from carrying a pencil around and a bit of glitter. So I'll give that a clean before I use it again. So now to decide what to keep in my pencil case and what to not. I think these are not, like I said, I'll, I use them when I'm actually doing brush lettering. But I might keep the hard tip brush pen because I might want to use that in my planner. Um, so in this little cup I have a whole bunch of other pens so I'm going to put these in there I'll take these out my refills, refills as well so in here I have my the rest of my pit artist pens so two mediums a fine a bold and a super fine I think that's super fine yeah um, they are really good pens of course so what I think I might do is take the super fine and the fine and I'll keep those in my pencil case and put the rest in here and I'll keep an O1 and an O2 micron as well just because I can. I'm going to keep my flash drive, I'm going to keep my Tombow, I'm going to keep my planner glue pen um, the Muji, I think I'll keep the Muji, and the brush pen, and the Sharpie, and the mild liner. Cool. Oh, I've got two grey mild liners. I don't need both with me. Um, my brushables pen, I won't. I've got a Pentel Touch, which I won't. Another brush pen. Now, I brought these with me as well, because this is a, a Pilot Juice pen, but it's in blue, and I don't really use blue. And then these, this is my high tech C, my pilot high tech C pen. I really like this pen. Let me find a blank page. It is so fine. It's just skipped a bit there. But I think that was just getting started. It seems good, super fine. So good for writing, very, very small, of course. And then I also have this Rotring graphic pigmented ink pen. And it is also super fine, but a gel, like an ink pen. So um, this is ballpoint, this is gel, I guess. I got these two pens from Bunbugu, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, here in Melbourne. Um, they're an online store, but they are from Melbourne and they deliver super fast. And I very much like these two pens. So I think I'll keep those in my pencil case as well. Now the question is whether I want a pencil, and given how much of a mess it made, what's the inside of this? I can't remember. I think it's dark. Yeah, so it's that burgundy fabric inside so maybe that's okay to put a pencil in there all right that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pop all of these in let's see if the Tombow fits yes the Tombow fits the flash drive chuck him in all of the pens I'm gonna keep the scissors in there just so I know where they are I'll keep the ruler even though I use my other one the eraser the whiteout and the sharpener that all fits so nicely 
Now, is there anything else I'd like to put in there? I don't think I'm going to keep washi or anything in here because I like to sort of see my washi and I don't want it to get all my messed up either. Oh, here's my other one. I wanted to put my white um, Kiki K Uni Ball Signo pen in and also I rediscovered my Kiki K multicolored pen today so I'm going to put that in there as well just so I know where it is. All right, I think, I think that's it. I do have this mountain of my favorite Kiki K pens here. Oh my goodness. I've done a walk through all of that whole collection. Um, all of these Kiki K pens are on my, on my channel just recently. So that's it. That's my There She Is pencil case filled with my everyday go-to pens. I'll just grab the planner as well so you can see them together. So that's the There She Is personal size planner and the There She Is pencil case together at last. <laughs> All right, guys, that was hopefully quite quick and um, hope it gave you a nice insight into the types of things I like to keep with me at all times. Um, if I do go somewhere where I'm planning planning to plan, I will ta obviously take this with me and it has everything that I need bar the washi. Um, so I could fit, let me see, I've got some washi here that I like a lot. Here's two. So they'll fit in. I've got another couple. That's five washies. And that fits. It's a bit bulky. I could probably move things around and get that to fit better. So at least four rolls of washi could go in there as well if it had to. That's pretty cool. All right. Again, that's it. How many times do I say that in a video, by the way? That's it. <laughs> I will see you again very, very soon. I want to set this one up um, shortly. I also have to do my weekly plan for this week. It's going to be a full on crazy week as usual. It seems to be getting worse and worse by the minute. But you will see that if you pop back for my plan with me video. All right, guys. Thanks so, so much for watching. And I will see you again very, very soon. Bye bye.